Why, hello there folks. Um, this is my first sort of run out with the drift. See what it's all about. See if I can get it working right and everything else. It's a HD one. It's not the Ghost. Well, that was a lot of money, but I uh, thought I'd try this one out anyway. Just to induce myself. My name's Andy. And uh, and here I am in uh, a nice little place called Itzreach in sleepy Suffolk. So uh, just going to have a little ride around just to see what the recording's like and the uh, mic. Tried it a couple of days ago and uh, the mic was completely distorted. So. Uh, Tried it in one or two places in the helmet, but uh, didn't work that well, so I've stuck it right in front of my mouth, and uh, we're going to give it a go. So yeah, back to me, I suppose. Just introducing myself, my name's Andy, like I said earlier. Uh, I'm riding today a ZZR 1200 uh, O2 plate, so she's getting on a bit. And I've had the bike for about eight years. Uh, Travelled over Europe in it, and uh, up into... Uh, Lake District and different places in Britain, Dartmoor and all over the place. Uh, never let me down, always run right, never had to pay a lot of money on her, you know, she's always been good, just servicing and, and bits and pieces, chains and sprockets and stuff like that and tyres, and she's been a good old bike and uh, I don't think I'll change her for the moment because uh, she's got 160 horsepower on the back tyre so she's, she's quite quite uh, quick and I will do a walk around with her another day and, and put it on there for you anyway I watched loads of these blogs on um, on YouTube and uh, some of them I really do enjoy some of them I think are crap and other ones I think are just nuts but uh, there's several on there who I do like I won't mention them on this on this ride out but uh, I will talk about them later on in a if I uh, get on alright with this uh, camera and different bits and pieces. Anyway, I'm now on the outskirts of Itchwich, just gone through a park called Stoke Park, and I'm now coming out to another park where I'm going to turn off to a little village called Balstead. And uh, I'm going to go around and down a place called Worsted Hill. It's not going to be a long ride, 10 15 minutes max. Anyway, that's tell you people that uh, I've been riding a motorbike now for a number of years um, too many years to mention actually so I would become one of the old farts on a bike probably uh, the older sort of riders uh, I pass my test I'm gonna say and I'm gonna say this very sort of sheepishly or sort of 41 years ago yes I did say 41 years ago so it shows you that uh, Sort of getting knocking on a bit, but uh, still enjoying my motor motorbiking. So we'll have pulling back that old throttle now and then. Right, this bit of road here is quite wide, but it will come back to a very small part, here, so you have to be a little bit careful. As you can see, it goes down to very small. Now we're coming into this little village called Bolstead, which is very nice. Big houses, nice bungalows and all that sort of stuff. Very quaint and pretty and all the rest of it. What you expect out in the Suffolk countryside, just outside its reach. If you want to move out here, I should imagine you would need more than a wonga loan to get you out here. You'd probably have to win the lottery to get some of these houses along like that one in front of me and stuff like that, you'd have to need plenty of money. So anyway, this is Bolstead. I thought before I got on the bike I'd talk about different bits and pieces about motorbiking. I know everybody's done everything really, but uh, I think everybody's got different sort of uh, ideas and opinions on different things. And I know everybody's talked about speed cameras, advanced riders, and all the other bits and pieces that uh, people talk about, you know. 
Miss Farmer Giles. Oh, Mrs. Farmer Giles. That's another thing I'll talk about in another blog if I uh, carry on. This, uh, and I'm going to find saying really sexist here. Certain ladies in four by fours in this area. You know, I'm probably going to stir up a hornet's nest with that one, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, so I thought I'd, on this ride I wouldn't talk really about anything really at all but uh, just to try this out and uh, see how we get on you know this is a very very twisty little road blind corners shit all over the roads you can see we've had a bit of rain so you have to be careful be interesting because my son has just bought a drift but he's bought the ghost he must have more money than his old man so if he has good luck to him but uh, I know he's gonna be doing bits and pieces as well so he uh, will be able to compare and we did say we'd have a a ride out with the drifts together and uh, see if we can put some sort of little feature together between us you know so I'm coming out to a little part I think it's called Worsted we've got Worsted Village and, and different places out here and I'll be cutting back into uh, Ittridge and I will be talking about a part of Ittridge that uh, not gets on my nerves, but seems to be the be, end, the be all and the be end of everything in history to some politicians and uh, councillors and, and trendy mob, you know. And that is the waterfront. Let's open her up a little bit. Yeah, this will bring us back into it. We're going to go down a uh, steep hill called Worsted Hill. I love coming up Worsted Hill. It has got such a kink on it. And when you come up and you pull it back, it is lovely. You can get a real good handful coming up there. You really have to, if you're really given one, you really have to force your bike over. You know, you have to use a bit of muscle on your bike. You can't just lean it, you have to force it. Which is, uh, gives you that little adrenaline rush, you know, sometimes. Now the problem with Ipswich as well is traffic. There's always traffic, whatever time of the day or whatever it's always busy and our town planners uh well i would say looking around our town what they're doing to the roads and whatever at the moment i suppose i could only call them masturbators really because uh they haven't got a clue i don't know where they learnt their degrees from or whatever but they seem fixated with one thing and that's traffic lights everywhere they keep putting more and more traffic lights taking a good Good, um, good rain about you know. It's just worth the view. You can see the little kick at the bottom here. It is lovely. Coming up, it's super. You've got the wide expanse on that side as well. So if you get slow traffic, you can just get random, you know. Right, we're coming into uh, the entrance of Ipswich on this side. And you've got Fox's Marina in front of you there. This is uh, very nice, all the big old uh, yachts and whatever, you can see that. And the waterfront is just down on the river there. And uh, just down that way, 
Anyway, when you go on the waterfront, you'll see that there's all these very, very nice shops and things and, and pubs and club things and, and whatever. And uh, and they charge you probably nearly five pound a pint of beer and five pound for an alco fizz pop, whatever you'd like to call them, in there. And uh, you get a plastic glass if you're really, really lucky. And um, if you went to a pub in the area, you'd probably pay about three quid for a pint in a proper glass, by the way. And if you went in a local social club, which I'm going to go past in a little while, you'd probably get a pint of beer for two ten. Then again, you've got to remember when you're on the waterfront, you're looking at all the yachts in the marina and all the rich people who can afford their five pound a pint. If they couldn't, they wouldn't have them boats. And uh, you can get the ambience of the flats that are not built, half of them not built. You can see in front of me now, there's a block of flats that have never been built. I think they call it the wine rack. And now they're talking about pulling it down because it's got so damaged over the years. So you've got, yeah, you've got all these flats and you've got these pubs or waterside drinking holes and uh, old buildings that haven't ever been pulled down and need pulling down, they're like an eyesore and it's called the waterfront and our councillors and city leaders or town leaders uh, think it's all that matters in its reach and it doesn't, there's so much more could be done elsewhere in the town and uh, which has been neglected all for the waterfront. But anyway, we're coming round here now. When I was a lad, all where all these houses are here, it used to be all factories. And um, we used to come down here as a kid at five o'clock in the afternoon, 5.30. You couldn't get across the road because all the blokes were coming out of the factories on their bikes. Oh bloody hell, road closed ahead to go this way. Anyway, you used to go round there and you couldn't get across the road because they were all coming out on their bikes and they all had combination motorbikes and stuff like that in the 60s. So, um, now it's all housing, affordable housing as they put it. You do hear some people say some nasty things about this area, but I'm not going to go into it on this one. What I will try and do in uh, future blogs, I'm going to talk about one or two controversial things, I think. You know, and uh, I'm not going to try and do is not try and put my input into it as such. But uh, see it on both sides and see if we can get something going on one or two things, you know. This is old Stoke, by the way. This is the old part of town. One of the oldest parts of town. Bought up here myself, loved it. Spent all my childhood around here. Great place. Changed considerably now. Uh, the old folks are all gone, and dare I say it, most of it now is immigrant. This is the old clublet where you can get a pint of beer. Give a wave to Rob. You can get a pint of beer in there for two pound ten pence, and uh, I certainly do. Anyway, we're going to go up here, I'm going to call in soon my old father, and uh, that'll be the end of this one. <laughs>